I've always wondered how screen aspect ratio affects throwing in Pokemon Go. For example, is it possible to throw farther on wider devices because there is more room at the side? Or, most importantly to me, are the excellent throw guides on this channel useful for all devices, or only devices similar to mine? In this video, I will show you the results of a few experiments I did, designed to learn exactly how Pokemon Go's catch mechanics change when the screen size changes. My main test was this, getting excellent throws on a large number of Pokemon, using three different aspect ratios. This included more than 10 excellent throws with each aspect ratio during Tynemo Community Day for a robust side-by-side -side comparison. A second test was simply to throw as hard as possible with each aspect ratio and see how far I could throw. The conclusions surprised me, and I think they'll surprise many others as well, since I've seen many comments in the community about narrow screens causing issues. At first, I thought I would need to use a tablet to test this, but it turns out that my Android phone has split screen, which allows me to run Pokemon Go easily at half and 71% height. This feature allowed me to do a well-controlled test of excellent throws at various screen aspect ratios. I use an Android Pixel 6, and my normal Pokemon Go playable area is 2144 by 1080 pixels. This is an aspect ratio of about two to one. With split screen enabled, this playable area becomes 1072 by 1080, with an aspect ratio of about 1 to 1, a square. With the split screen dragged down, the playable area becomes 1524 by 1080 pixels, with an aspect ratio between 3 to 2 and 4 to 3, which is somewhere between an iPad mini and an iPad Pro. Let's look at the footage. The first observation is that with a wider screen, the field of view is much larger. We are able to see more to the left and the right of the Pokemon. In fact, with screen height equalized, we see the exact same thing, but with additional space to the left and right. If the Pokemon moves to the left or right, its relative motion is much less on a wider screen. At first, this makes it appear that there is more space to throw the ball, so the range of possible throws should be bigger. But let's look at some throws. My most compelling data is from Tynemo Community Day. This first experiment is designed to demonstrate if screen aspect ratio affects excellent throw technique. With each of my three screen sizes, I obtained at least 10 excellent throws. Then, I plotted the release points for each of these 10 throws on a single image, like this. My experience was that I certainly had to relearn the excellent throw with each aspect ratio. It felt very different, indicating that throwing mechanics had been significantly altered in some way. We see that the throw looks different with each aspect ratio. The closer to square that the aspect ratio becomes, the more the ball has to be thrown to the left. But if we squish all three to be the same aspect ratio, we see the reality. The excellent throw release points for all three are the same cluster, when normalized to the same screen size. That is, a wider screen requires you to throw farther to the left for the same result. This means that the extra space is an illusion. In fact, you have to do more work because your finger has to move farther. My theory is that internally, Pokemon Go normalizes your finger position using the screen size. So if your finger is here on the normal aspect ratio, this is equivalent to your finger being here on the square aspect ratio. To restate this, it seems that if your finger is a quarter of the way from the left to the right of the screen, to the game this is the same point, regardless of the actual size of the screen. This theory, if true, would mean that any throw that is possible in a square aspect ratio is also possible on my normal aspect ratio, and vice versa. Let's see some more scenarios. For Clink, the throws on each aspect ratio initially look quite different, but after normalization, they look very similar. For Grimer, we see the same thing. For Machop, once again, the same thing. I was curious if the change in screen size would make it easier or harder to throw far. I didn't get the best test of this, but on a Durant, I attempted to throw as far as possible with both my normal aspect ratio and the square aspect ratio. In both cases, I was able to throw about the same distance with a throw from the lower right to the upper left. Finally, I tried a straight throw from the lower left corner, straight up. Interestingly, in square aspect ratio, this resulted in the throw actually aiming toward the Pokemon and almost hitting it. It ended up being a very similar throw path, as was achieved with my normal aspect ratio. All of this reinforces that the throw physics only care about your finger's relative position on the screen, and not your finger's position compared to what is shown on the screen. Most importantly, 
all throws appear to be possible on all screen aspect ratios. That said, there could be some practical differences. Because a wider screen ratio requires more horizontal movement, it may allow easier fine-tuning of exact horizontal release point. Or perhaps, due to quirks of touchscreen hardware and software, it may be easier to register a fast throw with more or less screen space to accelerate the finger. What does all of this mean for the guys on this channel? Well, since screen release points are scaled by screen size, then instructions that are relative to the screen itself are applicable to all screen sizes. For example, if a throw must be released near the left of the screen, then this will be true on all devices. However, instructions that are relative to what is shown on the screen do not carry over between screen sizes as easily. For example, releasing at the upper left of the gray circle, releasing near a particular patch of dirt on the ground, or releasing near a Pokemon's hand. Given these results, I'll need to keep these in mind when giving advice on how to achieve excellent throws. The bottom line is this. Screen size can be safely ignored. You can use whatever size phone you'd like, without ruining your chances at certain excellent throws. This surprised me, personally. I had believed that screen size mattered, and super tall phones would be suboptimal for Pokemon Go. I'm happy that I wasn't correct. I hope you found this video an interesting exploration of a topic that you haven't seen covered before. I aim to cover several other topics like this in future videos, so I hope you'll like, subscribe, and follow along. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.